Hi, and welcome to Zern Math. Zern Math is a K through five paper and software based curriculum that transforms the daily math block to create differentiation and engagement for every student. In this video, we'll provide an orientation to Zern Math and a detailed walkthrough of our materials. Zern Math provides a uniquely integrated approach to teaching and learning that connects a rigorous curriculum with a rotational classroom model, pedagogical content-based professional development, and actionable reports with data and insights on student learning. Our integrated approach is green-lighted by ed reports with our curriculum receiving top marks across focus and coherence, rigor and mathematical practices, and usability. Zern Math is helping educators across the country create results for millions of kids. Research shows that learning with Zern Math can drive gains in academic achievement, increase student engagement, and improve math learning mindsets so all children can love learning math. Let's dive in and look at the curriculum and classroom model. Zern Math includes comprehensive instructional materials that provide teachers with all the resources they need, including whole group activities and small group lessons for live instruction, personalized independent digital lessons, and lesson and mission level assessments. Over the next 10 minutes, we will walk through all of these materials and see what teaching and learning with Zern Math is like. Here is the teacher page for Grade 3 Mission 1, Multiply and Divide Friendly Numbers. Every mission or unit of our curriculum has a page like this, with all of the resources for instruction in one place. Let's first look at teacher-led instruction. Each day with Zern Math kicks off with whole group fluency and word problem activities. This whole group warm up time engages the community of learners, kicks off student led math dialogues, and allows students to work with and learn from all of their classmates. As students engage in fluency and application practice, they activate prior learnings in preparation for upcoming work. Zern Math provides all the daily materials needed for this whole group time. Let's take a closer look at some examples from our third grade mission. In this lesson, students group count by twos and threes to build from factors they worked with in a previous lesson. In the second exercise, students continue to work with equal groups as they relate repeated addition to division. These two fluency activities reflect the big idea of the mission, allowing students to move between different representations of equal groups with ease. Next, let's dive into a whole group word problem from the same lesson. For each problem, Zern Math provides tips for teachers to help connect lessons to earlier work. Here, the materials highlight the review of division problems that bridge lesson five into lesson six, where students relate division to arrays. The sample student work shows an abstract drawing of equal groups, but there are many different ways to solve the problem. The planning materials help teachers understand the range of representations they should expect to see. After whole group fluency and word problems, students break into two groups to learn new content. While half the class learns independently with digital lessons, the other half learns with their teacher in a small group. During daily small group lessons, teachers facilitate rich math discussions between students, shifting the classroom math dialogue from answer getting to a participatory conversation. Students collaborate with peers using a variety of problem solving and communication approaches and share their thinking aloud. Students bring different strategies to the table creating new learning possibilities for all members of the classroom community. During small group lessons, students use concrete manipulatives to construct physical representations of their math or draw a picture that models the problem. These kinds of visual representations introduce new and abstract math concepts in tangible and concrete ways. Small group lessons also give teachers time to build a deep understanding of each learner and provide in-the-moment feedback that helps students correct misconceptions and continue learning. To help teachers lead daily instruction that supports and engages every learner, Zern Math offers comprehensive pedagogical content PD for every mission of every grade. 
Let's look at the small group materials for the same third grade lesson. This lesson focuses on using arrays to represent a division problem. Students extend their understanding of equal groups by exploring the unknown in a division problem. Each small group lesson is designed to support teachers in leading live instruction that helps students build deep understanding of new concepts. Throughout the materials, there are guiding questions teachers can use as opportunities to give feedback and margin space with room to add any instructional notes. Lessons also provide detail on concrete materials to use. Here, the lesson starts by representing equal groups using counters and then moves to the third grade work of representing each part of this picture in a division and multiplication number sentence. With Zern Math, concept exploration begins in the concrete and then follows the concrete pictorial abstract approach so students can understand math in an intuitive and tangible way. To support teachers with pacing and differentiation, small group lesson materials include notes, shown by this green apple, where content is optional and can be used either for extension or remediation. Finally, the end of each lesson provides teachers with debrief questions to help summarize the lesson and important guidance on how to adjust the lesson to meet the needs of all learners. While half the class learns with their teacher and classmates in a small group, the other half of the class learns with personalized and engaging independent digital lessons. By rotating between these two groups each day, all students have multiple ways to engage in learning, acquire knowledge, and demonstrate understanding. There are several components of an independent digital lesson, each designed to ensure students experience a balance of procedural fluency, conceptual understanding, and application work. Students work through each component of the digital lesson at their own pace, giving every student the time they need to deeply understand new content they are learning. Let's walk through the components of Lesson 6. All digital lessons begin with Number Gym an individually adaptive fluency activity that helps students learn and practice foundational number sense. In this activity, students work on decomposition and making the next 10, starting with concrete practice using a 10 frame. Using visuals they can move and manipulate, students grapple with sophisticated number strategies. As they show understanding, the 10 frame is taken away, and they can transfer their understanding to solve more difficult problems with bigger numbers. These activities help students reinforce previously learned concepts and address any areas of unfinished learning. Next, students do a lesson-aligned fluency. These activities support students' grade-level learning by reviewing previously learned concepts and preparing for upcoming content. This particular activity develops fluency with addition and subtraction of multi-digit numbers, keeping place value strategies fresh and building deep understanding of the base 10 system. The combination of daily software-based fluency work and whole group fluency work strengthens students' understanding. Next, students move on to guided practice where they learn and practice new concepts. In this lesson, students are beginning to learn multiplication and division, and the math chat helps students build an understanding of the connectedness of the two operations. Hey there, mathematician. Let's get started with the word problem. Read this problem and imagine what's happening. Math chats resemble a small group setting where students learn with their teacher. Kayla? We know there are 20 total fish and five fish can fit in each tank. We're trying to find out how many tanks they'll need for all 20 fish. You got it. Here is one tank. Let's start by putting five fish in this tank. Keep going. Students begin by visualizing the problem to help them make meaning of the problem and understand the mathematical work required to solve. During independent digital lessons, students visualize problems with rich animations, like these fish, and construct their own visual models using high quality digital manipulatives. This approach helps all students build flexible and accurate problem-solving skills that they can apply across different problem contexts. As students work through the problem, digital manipulatives provide in-the-moment feedback that helps students test and confirm their thinking. Here, students are asked to relate the known parts of the problem to a multiplication equation 
and then relate their multiplication equation to a division equation. As students work with pictures, animations, concrete objects, and digital manipulatives, they develop a deep understanding of what the abstract symbols mean and the relationship between the different operations. Let's solve this next problem in your notes. In each guided practice, students transfer their learning to paper using student notes, drawing their math and representing their thinking in a variety of ways. Here, students are prompted to draw a pictorial representation to solve. As students problem solve in their notes, software-based prompts help them check and self-correct their work. At the end of this math chat, students write a multiplication and division expression to show how they found the value of this unit. After guided practice, students demonstrate their new learning in the Tower of Power. In the Tower of Power, students work through multiple stages of independent practice, solving problems that become more complex and less scaffolded as they progress. Students need to answer all questions correctly to complete the Tower of Power and unlock the next lesson in the mission. This tower begins with a concrete model to determine the unknown number of groups and progresses to using a different strategy, an array, to solve the problem. If students get any part of a problem wrong during a digital lesson, they get personalized, embedded remediation that provides just the right amount of support. Remediation support breaks down the question into smaller steps with more supportive manipulatives that allow students to understand and correct their mistakes. Then, students demonstrate understanding on a new problem. If students continue to struggle after multiple remediation paths, teachers are alerted in class reports and have precise visibility into where students need differentiated support. Once a student answers all questions correctly in the Tower of Power, students complete a paper and pencil exit ticket as the last step of an independent digital lesson. You can find these in Zern Math student workbooks or in the printable student notes on each mission page. Exit tickets are unscaffolded practice so teachers can see how well students understand the content of the lesson and can use exit tickets to inform instruction and identify students who may need extra support. This right here is one. Throughout the digital lesson experience, Zern aims to represent the diversity found in classrooms across the country, all right, so, so all 40, students can see someone similar right, to themselves learning math and one. persevering through challenges. We also strive to make our digital lessons accessible for all students, in line with our mission to ensure all students love learning math. Digital lessons include closed captioning, audio supports, and keyboard accessibility intended to provide support for a diverse range of learners. Zern Math curricular materials include embedded formative assessments that focus on the big ideas of mathematics and allow students to demonstrate their understanding. Assessments provide teachers with precise and actionable feedback that can be used to inform instruction and respond to student needs. Our mid and end of mission paper assessments consist of open response items that require students to show their work or explain their thinking in a variety of ways. Our integrated approach recognizes that teachers need more than high quality curriculum, and we offer professional development that supports teachers as they deliver differentiated instruction each day. Zern Math PD provides this support with upfront training to help classrooms get started and comprehensive PD that strengthens pedagogical content knowledge throughout the year. Classroom Implementation PD is a three session series that provides an orientation to Zern Math curricular materials and reports, implementing the rotational classroom model, and establishing classroom routines that support multimodality learning. Curriculum Study PD is a year-long professional learning series that builds deep pedagogical content expertise and supports teachers as they prepare to teach each new mission. Curriculum Study PD helps teachers plan daily instruction that ensures all students have opportunities to learn, grow, and share their math knowledge. There are PD sessions for every mission of every grade, adding up to over 40 hours of content that grade level teams can use to explore the fluency, application, and conceptual content of each mission. In addition to curricular materials and professional development, 
Zern Math offers reports with data and insights at the classroom and school level. These reports provide teachers, coaches, and administrators real-time visibility into progress and pace through the curriculum and highlight areas where students need extra support. Thanks for joining us in this overview of Zern Math.